channel my name is Chiago and I'm a first year medical student studying at the University of Ottawa right now though I'm in Barrie because of the pandemic and hopefully you're not going too crazy because of the things you can't do you can't go outside and stuff but on this video I want to talk about uh, five categories that you can work on right now and take advantage of this pandemic situation and see things more as an opportunities rather than obstacles uh, but before we do that, I'm gonna have breakfast and then we can jump right in. And by the way, remember when I mentioned the admissions video? It is up, it was up about two weeks ago. And I'm telling you right now, if you wanna check it out, I'll include the link in the description. It's a great video. I'm in it. I'm not saying it's great because of me, but just is an incentive maybe for you guys to watch. I'm in it. Um, make sure to check it out, share it with everybody. It's a funny video. All right, done with breakfast. It was delicious. I love that sandwich. I have it every morning um, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay, so usually when I listen to breakfast, usually when I eat breakfast, I like listening to a podcast and the podcast that I listen to the most and that I would recommend is Born to Impact by Joel and Marion. It's an amazing podcast with a lot of uh, influential people with great stories and super encouraging. So I encourage you to check it out. Moving on to the first tip or the first category of things that you can work on right now during the pandemic, they all start with F. So the first F is faith. I want you to take this opportunity to really invest time into your faith. Look, God is doing wonderful things around the world. He is not making this time go to waste. And if you look back in history, whenever there was a plague, whenever anything like this happened, there was always something that God was working on in the background. There was massive revivals. People are being led to Jesus. I encourage you to stay positive and use this time to really get in the word, in scripture, get to know the heart of God study it study it for yourself listen to podcasts listen to sermons even online talk to your friends and family about your faith your what you doubt what you're confident in because now is the time and you've never had more time than you have right now most of you haven't and so it's a good moment to invest in that aspect of your life. There's a hashtag currently going around created by Nick Hall and it's hashtag year of the Bible. And if you take a picture of yourself with your Bible, take a selfie, post on Instagram and use that hashtag, thousands of people will see it. And I want to encourage you to pray a prayer like David did in Psalm 139, 23, 24. And this is what he says, search me God and know my heart, test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me to the way everlasting. So lastly, on, on this topic of faith, I want to encourage you by giving you two podcasts that I love and that you can use. And that is Knowing Faith Podcast by The Village Church and Culture Matters by The Village Church as well. They're really good. One looks more at the theological, uh, biblical things, uh, biblical kind of in-depth topics. And then Culture Matters looks at 
what is going on in the culture and kind of how do we see these things through our faith perspective. Also, if you're not a Christian, then do whatever faith is to you. And I encourage you guys to get to know God better. I hope that tip is helpful. I hope it encourages you. If you're somebody who has a faith background or even doesn't, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button, like this video and leave a comment down below. What are you doing right now to kind of propel you, push your faith forward, to challenge yourself? What are you doing to learn new things? I want to know, comment down below. And now it's time to get back to studying, except this time instead of doing flashcards, I'm going to be looking at a lecture for the next two hours. And it's on potassium pathophysiology. All right, I just finished studying. It actually wasn't too bad. Um, next, I'm gonna go work out. Before I do, I'm gonna give you the second and the third F that you can work on. So the first one was faith. The second one is family. Third is friends, all right? So I want you to take this opportunity to spend time with your family and your friends. I have, I know people that are spending a lot of time with their friends through Zoom calls, um, there's a lot of that going on right now. And because you're, you know, I'm assuming you're in a tight uh, house, uh, tight spaces with your family, you're spending a lot of time with family as well. So take advantage of that opportunity and get to know each other a little bit better. A couple of days ago, I saw somebody suggest doing a conversation starter, Googling conversation starters on on Google and asking each other these random questions. I asked Jess to do that and she thought that we didn't need to. She thought that maybe we knew enough about each other. But when we started asking each other questions, we had lots of fun and we got to know things that we didn't know about each other. So here's an example. I'm gonna give you a conversation starter right now that you can comment the answer down below. And it's this, if you were a farm animal, what would you be and why? what kind of animal would you be? All right, so I know that being in the same place in the house, not being able to go outside with each other can be stressful. And so make sure to give each other grace, forgive each other, understand the position that everybody is in, and just try to love each other as much as possible. But guys, remember, look at the opportunity rather than the obstacles. Right now, a lot of, a lot of people in the past have complained about not having time to spend with friends, not having time to spend uh, with family. Now you have a lot of time. So invest that time. It's an investment in your faith, in developing your familial relationships and your relationships with friends. Connect with friends from years ago, whatever you do. All right, so that is the third F and now it's time to work out. All right, Jess and I are gonna work out. Yesterday we found a video that was like a kickboxing high intensity training video and it wore us down today we found another one what is it just like a super intense it's a no equipment hit cardio home workout quick and intense hit and it's only 13 minutes long i'm gonna try and hyperlapse it so you guys can see us do a quick workout um but yeah let's just get the blood flowing since we don't go outside much right now because it's cold um and exercise is really good for you. All right, let's do this. All right, we finished our exercise. It was an intense 13 minutes. Left us out of breath. It was good. And we're, we started yesterday and we'll try and keep it going for the next a little while because um, working out is really important and in fact I was going to mention this point later but since we just finished a workout the fourth F in what we're talking about is fitness so the first is faith and family friends and fitness and right now during the pandemic while you're in self-isolation really try to not give up on fitness or if you haven't done it start it right now it's so easy Jess and I just YouTubed a quick workout and it gave us a run for our money. And so working out is really good for your body. It releases endorphins, makes you feel better, keeps your muscles uh, toned, keeps you healthy, keeps your mind healthy as well. And it teaches you discipline. It helps you push past those times that are difficult. 
And so if you're able to push yourself in a workout, uh, when you feel it giving up in life, when you come against an obstacle that makes you feel a little bit afraid or feel like you want to give up, that discipline that you built over years of working out pushes you through. So don't give up on fitness. Stay strong. It's not easy, but it wasn't meant to be easy, and that's why it's so beneficial. It is time to cook a recipe. Right now, we're going to prepare some chicken with bacon and beer. Check the ingredients out. So here's the chicken, the bacon, the beer, and everything else. I've shown this recipe before a couple of videos back, so check that out, and I'll show you the final product soon. The chicken's almost ready. It's in the oven, uh, just finishing up. And right now, I've, I've been reading on a PDF a book by Craig Ballantyne called The Perfect Week Formula. It's an extremely good book. It's all about how to be productive. Uh, balancing work but also scheduling time to have fun so that you can have the most amount of focus during work and I highly recommend it. All right right now I'm on a sim call with my friends here uh, on zoom and for next hour or so we're going to work together to uh, do a project so I'll see you on the other side. So our sim group call ended not too long ago and we got some good progress done. We're moving fast, we're gonna finish way before the deadline, so that's really good. And now I have flashcards and just lecture review scheduled in, so that's uh, what I'm gonna be doing for the next couple of hours until uh, supper time. And so that's what I'm gonna do, and then right after this, I will tell you the next F, which is going to be, I can't tell you, it's, it's coming, stay tuned. I am done studying and ready to give you the next F, which is finances. And right now there's a big opportunity since you have time to uh, work on your finances. So one, you can look at your, your budgeting. So look at your receipts if you have them. Um, try to budget out how much you've spent on what you've spent and plan for next couple of months so that you don't overspend. Uh, look at how much you earn and make an Excel spreadsheet. So what you track, what you don't track, you won't know if it improves. There's a better way of saying that. I just can't think of it right now. So tracking your budget is extremely helpful. And now since you have time, you're just sitting um, at home. Why not make a, sp a spreadsheet or find a spreadsheet uh, to do that? The other option or the other thing that you can do in, in regards to finances is just invest in skills and so like I said right now is the best time to invest in skills so look up different courses that teach you high income skills those skills could involve copywriting or sales depending on how you want to use those skills to make money read books how to win friends and influence people people skills is extremely important and so think about what or how for the next couple of months are you going to make money if you can and what are the skills that are needed to do so and how can you build on top of those so right now i'm taking some productivity courses i just noticed jess jess is right right there so i'm taking some productivity courses i'm taking a um course that is helping me guide some of my youtube uh skills and so I'm investing in my skills so that I can reap the benefits from it in the future. And so I wanna encourage you to think about what are skills right now that you can invest that in the future maybe, maybe it's not right now, but maybe in the future will have a financial reward uh, that you can reap then. All right, so that is the next F, finances. We have one more, I'm gonna give you a bonus one and I'll tell you that soon. We're at Timmy's right now grabbing a drink. Before we yeah. head to Wasaga. Thank you. It's super flooded right now here. And this is Wasaga Beach. Nice and wavy. Jess and I just arrived at Wasaga Beach. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind. I hope you do. But I just want to mention the last F. It's a bonus F. F number six stands for fun. So during the pandemic, Guys, you need to have fun. Like right now, Jess and I, we're celebrating our one year anniversary of dating. Congratulations. 
we made it a year um, and we're gonna have fun just by walking on the beach we went to Timmy's, Timmy's bought a drink and we brought a little some small creme brulees to celebrate and so um, try to have fun you know COVID can be serious life is serious but you need to be able to take time to do the things you like make a list of hobbies and activities you like to do as a child and do them now uh, do lots of arts and crafts play some some soccer kick the ball around video games enjoy life don't make it too serious and so that's the final F I hope you guys enjoyed those tips Alright, so that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Right now, Jess and I are just going to drive around, look at some cottages, enjoy the sunset. Um, just to recap, the F's that we talked about are family, faith, fitness, friends, finances, and the last one is fun. Comment down below which one you're going to work on this week. Just pick one, comment down below by commenting. It's going to stick in your mind longer and it's going to push you to take action um, that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell please share this video with anybody who might be interested in it and i will see you in the next video